Hello, good evening, Sp Sandy here. Um, I'm good, thanks. And how are you, if I may ask? I'm speaking as if it's conversation. Uh, going into detail on subject of where I am, I'm staying in a hotel tonight. My brother presently is watching um, a West End cast performing at the Radlett Art Centre in Radlett. I was supposed to join my brother this evening. However, my brother and I are both suffering with tummy upset and I have um, flatulence presently. So I said to my brother that I just couldn't do it to people in the theatre. Um, it was not fair on, on people around me. So I decided to stay at the hotel. Um, and my brother, who uh, is much better than me, went and saw the show. Um, and when I say better than me, he feels a lot better than me. He isn't suffering with flatulence. So my brother has taken himself to, um, to um, what's it called, please, um, to the theatre. And lucky, lucky, lucky Elliot. I really would have loved to have seen the show. Um, as probably, hopefully, some of you know, um, I love the theatre and I love particularly... Um, or well, this is new information for you guys. I particularly love Broadway and West End style musicals. And I'm really quite uh, disappointed. So I have um, bought today, I bought myself a Jewish Passover colouring in book. So I did one sheet of paper of the of the so-called book um, this evening and left it on my brother's where my brother's sleeping tonight in the middle of the bed with on top of my brother's pajamas so that my brother shall find it if I shall be asleep when my brother returns and I have watched on subject of Putin on television. Um, and on YouTube, I placed, um, do you think Putin has psychological problems and connected that question to YouTube and started watching and it was very interesting. I found out that my assume, my assumption was correct that the that this gentleman, this chap, this chappy, this absolute, well, I, I don't say, but this real madman has definitely got psychological, seriously deep psychological issues. Um, excuse me for using such a word. I very rarely describe anybody as that word. Um, on this occasion, I'm allowing to myself to take the liberty to say that um, and um, I hope I shall be respected for my opinion it is just my opinion um, each to one's opinion and that is mine so like it or not that's my opinion sorry uh, <laughs> and um, apart from that um, Going into why I'm suffering with my tummy, uh, my brother and I both, ha both had um, British and English breakfast for breakfast today. And um, I think that's what's caused it. I tried to have some Pringles in the hotel this evening. I, they were all stale, they, were, they tasted really stale. And um, so, I just make a pretty good assumption that all the food and drink here is not um, particularly new and fresh and 
maybe they've just got a very, very, very bad turnover, which is really sad. I'm really sorry for them because they're really trying to make it pleasant for my brother and me. And they washed a pair of my pajama bottoms today, free of charge. And um, just trying, you know, looked after my iPad for me when I went out earlier today at reception and just trying really hard, keep phoning and asking for whatever towels, for example, was the last one. And five minutes later, a lady came with two really, really massive towels, so to speak. So, you know, they're really making an effort. So A plus for that. And um, I'm sorry to say that um, if they don't, receive more customers they're not going to have the turnover and it's unfortunate however that's probably what the problem is um i just had um a little bit of smarties because um i haven't had dinner and they tasted okay However, I'm just so hungry, you know. I left a message on my brother's mobile asking my brother to pick up something for me on the way back to the hotel. I don't eat in this hotel. I'm scared of getting tummy upset. Um, oh dear. It's, uh, my brother said it's a two, three star hotel. Um... I'd say room-wise, I'd give it five star. Um, food and drink-wise, I'd say yes. Um, to taste it, it's fine, apart from those crisps. Um, Pringles, I mean. Um, and I think some crisps. Um, but from the point of view of the turnover, they're not getting it, so I can't give them a very high mark on that one i would say about two out of ten three out of ten and um so it's a bit of a sad evening in, in one respect because i could have seen a nice show and um i just i had to consider the people at the theater there's just no way i could do that to some to people and um, it would have been dead embarrassing for a start. And secondly, it would have been most incorrect of me and, and very selfish. And uh, both of which I try not to be. And um, I'm just looking forward to tomorrow when I'm going back to my cat Oreo and my beautiful flat that I love so much. And I'm really quite relaxed. I'm quite feeling feeling my usual wonderful self. <laughs> and um, I just um, am a little teased off that I missed the show. Um, but it's been a really relaxing couple of nights. And... Um, I've managed to read my book for a while before. Uh, it's a book on subject of the wonderful, in my opinion of wonderful, Miriam Margulies, whom I admire and think very high love, highly of from what I've seen and heard from the lady on YouTube. And, um, it's very interesting reading the lady's biography for me. I highly recommend the book. It's called, uh, bear with me please, I'll just find the title. In fact, I can show you the book. This Much Is True, Miriam Margulies. There we are. Very, very interesting. The lady was at Oxford University, I think, and um, each word that comes out of the lady's mouth is 
what I would describe as witty and clever and um, one can be a person who has been at university and can be totally out of it, you know, and this lady isn't, this lady really is very smart and um, popular in many respects, I think, um, seemingly to me. And I can certainly understand the reason as to why, if that's the case. And um, unfortunately, the lady lost her parents. And uh, although the lady really misses them, she just seems to be so positive and it's helping me because uh, I lost my father about eight, nine months ago and I'm repairing. Um, one can't go on and on thinking of what, what's gone because that's very negative. One needs to once one door closes, one needs to open a new door. And have a challenge. Because without challenge, one doesn't grow. And, and I'm looking for a word, a word. Um, one doesn't improve one's, upon one's character without a challenge. Any positive challenge. In my case, I would say that I need to try to be less obsessional on that. And that, that is a great challenge for me. And it's very empowering when I, when I succeed at something even if it's something very little, like I didn't check by looking at the pen that I'd slip, that I'd cl that I'd clicked it closed, so that the pen part that draw that writes one writes with is covered inside, and something as simple as that, which to me isn't, as a result of my OCD. And um, I really am starting to get very, very sleepy. I don't know if it shows. Um, my brother's coming back in about an hour, probably. And um, I think I might be asleep at that point. Uh, so I hope my brother hasn't isn't going to bring me back a lot to eat because awake or asleep, I'm not going to need all that much. But I asked for it as a result of the fact that I've had no dinner. And on the Cambridge diet, which is a um, pretty good diet in my opinion, um, I think once recommended to have regular meals. I seem to recall reading that in the literature. And so if that's the case, then I wouldn't be surprised. I'm pretty sure I read that. So my poor little puss puss is probably wondering, where's mummy? In which case, it shan't be long, it's only one more day. In fact, less than a day. Oh, there's one more lady that I really admire, and that's Katie Hopkins, if I haven't said it in a past vlog. Although the lady is totally bonkers, it's a healthy bonkers, in my opinion. And I admire the honesty. I tend to like honest, strong people. 
especially a female, honest and strong person. I've noticed that with myself. I'm quite a strong person. I'm quite an open and honest person. So it could be that I like people who perhaps remind me a bit of myself. That makes sense. Well, I bid you a nice night, morning, afternoon, whichever way you are. And thank you so much for watching me. And take care, please, of yourself. And please take care of each other. Lots of love. Bye-bye.